I would like to show you how I replaced some of our glass tubing with Evo tubing. I made this one, which is for the gas collection in an upside down measuring cylinder. And I made this one, which is for the carbon dioxide test with lime water. Now here I've got a roll of Evo tubing. You can buy it from Haynes and Science Supply. I think West Lab does it too. It's about 30 to 35 dollars for 10 meters. It's not cheap, but it's well worth it. Um, it's soft, flexible tube. So I start off by cutting about 40 centimeters of tubing. I say it's nice and flexible. And to be able to shape it, I need to first heat it to soften it. The easiest way to do that is insert skewers into the ends so I'm able to hold it in the hot water bath. I've got a hot water bath here which is set to 80 degrees. It needs a minimum of 80 degrees. You could just boil a kettle and pour it into an ice cream container. It will do the same job. So I'm going to make this one first. I will have one long one and one short one. I'm going to insert it into the hot water bath and after a little while you can feel how the plastic goes softer and softer and we can shape it. Once it's soft and in the right shape I transfer it into cold water, just tap water will do. I use a beaker because here I can just leave it sitting like that and don't have to hold on to it and I put it aside. Now I'm going to make the S-shaped part for this one. Same thing, I'm going to use about 40 centimeters of tubing. Okay, this time I'm just going to put one skewer in to make the first part of the S-band. Uh, put it in. Make for it to go soft and then put it in the beaker and I leave this one and hopefully this one has cooled in now. I'll take the skewers out. That's it. Actually I can straighten this one. I'll show you how to straighten that part. I'll put a skewer in. going to hold this part in the hot water bath. It's curved because it was on a roll so it's just for looks. It doesn't have to be straight because the tubing is flexible. I'll put this one back for the time being and let it cool again. And I should get a nice straight one like this. Okay this one hopefully has cooled in. I'm going to put the other part of the S in. Put a skewer in, it's a little bit harder to turn it against that natural bend it had from the roll. Place it into the water bath, wait for it to go soft. Once it's soft and it's got the right shape, I put it in the beaker and I wait for it to pour down. I'll come back to this one. Oh, that's still warm. Can't take that out yet. I will take this one out instead. Um, I've got these stoppers. These stoppers came from Westland. I do love those stoppers. However, they don't fit all flasks. I've got these Sinex ones and they seem to fit quite well. But I had a shot urine flask and it kept slipping out. So make sure it fits your flasks. I'll show you how it's been used. I put a little bit of bicarbonate flask, sodium bicarbonate. Put the stopper on. You see the tubing because it's not glass it can't get broken and you can easily adjust it to whatever you're going to use it for. Um, 
water bath for the measuring cylinder. A retort stand to hold the measuring cylinder. I'm going to fill the measuring cylinder with water. I already adjusted that so it sits nicely. easy to put that tubing into the measuring cylinder again because it's not glass you can adjust it easily because it's flexible now with the syringe you see the fitting it fits quite easily into the EVA tubing I'm gonna suck up 10 milliliters of 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid Place it in the tip, make sure one more time it's tight and then just add the acid. You see the bubbles form and the gas is collected in here. So I've collected about 35 milliliters of gas. In reality it's only 25 because I added 10 ml of liquid. That one. Um, hopefully this one. No, it's still warm. I'll be alright, but it's a lot straighter than it used to be. And I've got these little stoppers. They fit on the test tubes. I've got these little blue fittings that will go onto the little test tube. Push it in. Again, these ones fit really well. Push it in, and then set it up to collect your carbon dioxide. So, say you've got marble chips and hydrochloric acid in here, and in here you would have lime water, and you bubble the lime, um, the carbon dioxide through the lime water, and the lime water will go cloudy. Um, can fit gas syringes onto the EVA tubing. It's got the same fitting, just very easily slides on. So it's very, very versatile, very easy to use, no risk of any breakages, and these ones, they will last for years. If necessary, you can always reheat them and bend them again if they lose shape, but I found they lasted for two years without losing their shape.